Thanks for tuning in guys. This is Troy Wayland and we're going to be designing, creating with Canva. Hop with me here as we go ahead and take a look at how to really manipulate Canva to our design. Specifically, this video will be about Twitch. I'll give you some great tips and tricks on how to manipulate those images and to really look at and focus in on how your design is going to pan out in the end and what the final product looks like. We'll start from this and go to this. Let's jump right in. For those of you who want to follow along, you can go to canva.com. I do have a sweet link and that'll be down below in the video. Uh, the Canva link. I do want to let you know that for a trial account, so you just get some very free basic things, it gives you access, it gives you a credit to download a free premium item. I just love the program so much. Um, you know, Canva is great for a little bit of everything. Uh, specifically, what we're going to be using it today is to create some things on Twitch for Twitch because who doesn't like a little personal journey of creativity? Thank you. Anyways, today we're really going to be looking at how to create and how to really make that Twitch starting soon screen pop, right? Uh, wh what I like to do before even getting in here is I like to check out some inspiration. I need to get inspired for my project. So uh, let's just go to images, go straight to a Google search. We don't really need anything too, too crazy, something that, that really stands with me and what I'm feeling. Ooh, I kind of like this right here. I'm gonna keep looking. So I'm just gonna, again, this is just for inspiration. Uh, I think I want something a little bit darker, maybe simpler, uh, a little bit of neon pop maybe. I don't know, this is super simple. Kinda like that. So if we, what if we mix this color palette here with this font? I'll show you how to how to get that real quick using Canva. And Canva's awesome. It actually has an auto palette finder inside of the program. This is what Canva looks like. Go ahead and sign up, get your free account, so you can go ahead and get that free premium credit. There's also a lot of good free designs already on there. You really don't need a lot to work with. It's epic. So what I'm gonna start off with first though is we need to find the recommended Twitch banner size. Good way to do that, type it in Google because Google knows everything. All right, Twitch banner. Oh, you know, Twitch, uh, no, we don't want the banner. What are we doing? Google doesn't know all. What are you doing to me, Google? Why? Why? Okay, what we can do is Canva also does have an automatic resizer in here. Uh, just kidding. It's not automatic, but you'll have to manually put it in there. We can start with a canvas size. So if you go to the top right here, click on create a design, custom dimensions. We'll do... The, this is the most popular, a 1920 by 1080. We got our screen size. We're gonna use this. We're gonna manipulate this to our advantage. This is my color palette that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and just save the image. And then I'm gonna keep this in mind when I'm looking for my font. So that's, that's what I want is to maybe have also like my, my name in here. Got some handles. How to get a hold of me? Where to find me? Where to go? So I'm gonna click over to Canva, got my create new design. It'll pop up a new window here for you. I'm gonna find this, open this, show in folder. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over. Well, I wanna give you guys a, a a great tip too for like some free resources. So uh, almost all this is gonna be free. There is a free option that you can use within Canva. It will give you a good amount of editing tools for designing, but caveat, right? You're gonna have to pay for some of the more cooler features. Uh, I do know when like you're hitting uh, download and you wanna resize it automatically just like this. You can see that my, my pixels are changing. Transparent background, it, it pops it out as a PNG with a transparent background and you can also compress it. These are all premium features that you have to get. Uh, it will only do the design size, the design canvas size that you choose when you initially put it in there. If you do it before, it's not gonna work. Go to VidEasy. 
let's show you real quick. So VDZ Home, this is what it looks like. There are some pro features on here. I do not have an account for this. It It is literally free HD video that you can use for your background. Can I give it that extra pop? And that's what we want to use. And let's find something cool. Something 20p. Kind of already figured out this is what I want to work with. Let's play it. Ooh, I bet we can do some cool layering effects with this in Canva. License info. Mention TV broadcast, vid easy in the credits. Guess what? We're doing that right now. I credited them. I uh, let them know that I'm using their product. You're welcome. So when you upload a file inside of Canva, especially when it's larger, we're talking about the dozens of megabytes. It should be a little bit quicker though. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Totally fine, understandable. But let's go ahead and start getting these colors out of this image here. Show, uh, I'm gonna go over text and add in a heading. I'm gonna work with uh, everything later. Uh, hopefully show you guys a couple cool uh, hotkeys. Shortcuts, shortcuts. Stream, starting. And you know what? I'm actually gonna put soon on a different line and I'll show you here in just a minute. I'm starting soon, all right. Let's find, again, this is kind of the font I'm looking for. So, stream starting soon. Stream starting. Let's go back over. I mean, that was called luck. <laughs> uh, you'll find also there's a lot of different options here within Canva that there are some premium features. So, I'm going to just go ahead and bring these both to Horizon. And this is where it'll let us start taking out those colors. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out a couple squares. These are free to use. If anything that has like the actual crown by it, that's a premium feature. Now on this, you're gonna hold down Alt when you have your item selected and just move it over. It'll also show you the pixel difference. So this is how far it is away. That's my spacing. If you wanna see that again, Let's just say I want to see how far this is from the border. I'll hold down Alt, and I know that there's 79 pixels that way that I can go till I hit the hit the border. This is great for aligning, for straightening up things, uh, make it a little bit more eye pleasing, please eyeing, pleasing, oh pleasing. Okay, I'm gonna click on a color, and then check this out. This is what I'm talking about right here. Color options. This is based off of the specifically this logo or this this item right here. So I got four colors. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it up for boop, boop, boop. And then I'm going to do dark. I'm going to do one here. And you don't have to do this. It's just a personal preference of mine. So that way I can save and work with these items later. So this is basically my, my swatch that I'm dealing with. Stream starting shoot. Now we're not necessarily inside of Canva going to be getting the same kind of gradient effect. Uh, that's not what I'm looking to do here. We do have our palette. We'll get rid of this for now. And, uh, you know, I like it like this. This is a great position, center, top, bottom, middle, whatever the case may be you want it to be. It's great. And it will automatically click to grid. I feel like I really want this to pop out. Stream starting soon. Boop. Okay. So this is basically going to be our background. We'll do right click. We say... Send it back. I'll go ahead and just for now, I'm going to lock this. So that way when I'm trying to move around, I'm trying to edit things. I don't have to really deal with uh, trying to click the background and, and getting that all wonky. Now this is too far away. Let's see here. 64. I love myself some even pixels. Pixely. All right. So we got that. We got our background. Let's go ahead and go back to our uploads that we looked at. We'll drop in the watery stuff. Right click, send to the back. Now we have our locked image. Unlock it. I'm going to transparency this up again. Oh, yeah. I like that. 
I actually like that a lot. Take a look. Ooh, I do like that. I do. And it should just like loop perfectly. Boop. Boop. I'm actually gonna bring this up quite a bit. Probably to like 95. So we don't want it to be the forefront of the image. But we also we don't want to neglect it either. So I'm gonna drop in my little icon guy that I've had made before years ago. Still good though. Offset this to the bottom right. And we don't want them butting up right against. So the problem here is when you're gonna try to choose, like check your pixels, it's not gonna work out because technically the image radius, the image box is this entire picture. If you have to, if you are very, very uh, precise in what you want to do and how you want to look at that, you can go and just put a box over real quick. It's 140 pixels off the image. So come over here, say 161, move it over a little bit, 138. If you tap on your D-pad or on the arrow pad, one, two, three, it should be 141. So that's where we'd want our additional images. Ooh, you know what? What if, because this is, does not match this color palette whatsoever, the character, right? What if we silhouette them out? So click effects here, monotone. Hey, it's not too bad. Sometimes you just click on stuff and it works. So highlights, so if we go black, shadows, black. Density. Yes. I love that. That looks good. But you know what? I want to move him back. So if you right click, it says send backwards, it's actually control and then bracket. So control open bracket. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one more time. Get out of that menu. So now I'm in the background. That looks awesome. Super clean looking and I'm going to press play real quick. See what happens. Nice, because we're starting soon. We're not we're not actually going yet. We're gonna be starting soon. I wanna add in my some of my features. So my my contact. All your designs. All right. And I'm actually gonna go here to this main one. I'm actually not done with this. I did post it on my profile, but I mean let's let's be real. It's not the best. Gonna grab this over from a previous image. Okay, control C. Or copy come over here control v you should paste it resize it for the canvas that you are on and nice thing about this is i can actually group this position center bottom and it'll look pretty good ungroup real quick because we have a bunch of dead space right here and anytime that you group an object or objects it will take exactly what you select. I'm gonna group this together, position. It's already centered. It tells me that I'm already in center. Especially since it it snaps the grid. So this is the center of everything I have going on right here as far as the stream starting soon. This is snapping to grid right here. Let's see what we have so far. So this is gonna be at the start of your stream. You're gonna have this look right here. So we got the layers, we kind of masked some things, we changed the image of the little character. All right, let's see if that did that. Okay, it's not want to move, it's okay. Try it again. That should have been one. 78, I like even numbers, leave me alone. All right, so we got our Instagram, we got Facebook, we've got the Twitters, uh, we got some open space, some empty space that's right here in the middle. What we can do is we can bring some things around from previous designs here. Uh, I really want to keep this pretty simple. What we can do is fill this space by making these items larger. So if I like where this is at, I can group it together. Perfect. All right. Very soon. And again, remember, we might have to resize this. This, this may not work out because uh, I didn't necessarily take enough time to check out if this was the same size for the Twitch stream. Okay, take a look. I have to say, that's pretty good. I'm actually very happy with this. Uh, it didn't take too long, took 
just right around i'll say if i was just like sitting here and doing this on my own uh i probably would have taken 15 minutes to kind of pop this together uh let, let's go back to our designs real quick of what we were thinking about right one more time let's take a look not bad we got multiple colors going on uh it's subtle it doesn't scream it doesn't like say i'm a natty boy whatever that means go hit download mp4 video it's in beta right now which is fine we do want to keep that hit download it's going to take a little bit of time but it will compress and get that done for you i uh, don't have scheduled yet obviously just started brand new ooh, ooh. but a girl and now i'm married which i'm not wearing my ring right now whoopsies anyways uh i'm in my home i'm safety in my home i haven't left in two weeks you know COVID. boom like is there subs on this thing there's some subs just like the uh profile banner says come watch us for board games brewing gaming voice work and design it's gonna be fun this is not a finished design please don't look at it don't look at it you can't see it on the screen so ha huh. anyways uh again thank you all y'all have a good night y'all have a good night I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I sure did enjoy creating with Canva here. If you found something useful or you liked something that you saw in the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or two. I don't even think that's possible. Actually, I know that's not possible. I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, uh, to be honest, this is my first video ever uh, editing, putting this all together. So don't be too harsh on me. Just wanna say thank you. And uh, if you liked it that much, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.